Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to make an avatar sticker for homepage on IMVU using a GIMP program. Here I have the a basic avatar sticker picture. Um, let's smooth out our edges. A really quick trick I learned taught myself from trial and error. Right click, actually, sorry, right click, alpha to selection, right there, marching ants around your avatar. Now you right click here, select, shrink. I recommend only shrinking by one. Okay. And again, right click, select, invert. Now we're going to right click again, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And for this, I only recommend blurring so that you don't get that fuzzy outline. I only recommend two, one or two. Um, blur radius, make sure it's even, meaning the chain here, lock it. So that it matches that two and two. Okay. Select none. See how her edges on the outside are all nice and smooth. Now to smooth out the rest of her, just go over here to your blur sharpen tool. Fix your size. and blur other areas out. You might want to zoom her out. Blur out the hair. Blur the edges that didn't get blurred from your original. Okay, I paused the video and I went ahead and blurred all the areas needed. Her hair, around her face, jawline, arm, inside, Anywhere you see jagged pixels, blur it out. It's just a soft blur, so it just smooths it out and makes it look softer natural. Now we're going to do highlights. You're going to right click, create a new layer, transparency, put it on top of your original, your background layer, so it's here. Coming over here, you're going to choose your brush, paintbrush, white. Choose your size of your brush, depending on how big your picture is. And you're going to highlight areas that you feel that you want highlighted. Okay, I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, here you see I highlighted areas that I think needed to be highlighted. I did this on the new transparent layer that we did. Okay. This is a perfect example, but you get the idea. Right click, filters, blur, again, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur is your best friend. Alright, here we are. I go up to, only go up to about 8 or 9. The higher you go, the more it blurs, but it also weakens it. You'll understand in a moment. Click OK. Come up here to your mode, normal. Make sure your layer is actually chosen. Bring that down and go overlay. Now look at that. See how it blended in with the actual avatar? But it gave it a highlight effect. But also notice how it sort of, sort of blunt right there. 
use your smudge tool. 50 right. Put it And just drag it down. See how it just blends it. All right, got an idea. Now let's do the highlighting. Same exact thing you did with highlighting. We're now going to do the shadow. New layer. This time we're going to brush. Use black. And I'll be back. Okay, I added shadow quickly so you get the idea of where I think the shadow should go. And a lot of other, I even go so far as when I take more time, add shadow and highlights to the hair, make it look more natural. Again, just like you did with the highlight, you're going to do with the, the shadow, right click, filter, blur, again, Gaussian blur. And depending on how much shadow you want, okay. Go up here again, overlay. Now look at the difference. Notice how with the shadow here on her legs, it looks more natural. Like her leg is actually behind. It looks more 3D. The shadow on her face, more mysterious looking. And when you use the overlay, it blends in with the actual avatar. Next video, we're going to stop here for now. I'm going to do a part two. We're going to merge the layers. I'll show you how to do that. And we are going to add some other additional detail. Okay, thank you.